Hey everyone, today we're going to be using Epiphany to pull in data from Coinbase. If you don't have Epiphany installed, check for the link down in the description below. When you have your Google Sheet open with Epiphany installed, go to Extensions, Epiphany, and Import API. Well, that's pulling up. Let's go to the Coinbase API documentation. We'll have this link down below as well. So a lot of Coinbase's APIs are authenticated, which is not supported currently, but will be shortly. So today we're going to look at the unauthenticated endpoints, which are the data ones down here on the lower left. So we have a couple here. We have the listed currencies on Coinbase. We'll have the exchange rates, and then we'll have prices. We have buy, sell, and spot. So let's go ahead and start on the top one. So they conveniently give us the API right here, the URL that we need. So we can just copy this, go back to our Google Sheet in our Epiphany sidebar, copy that into this URL path, leave this as get because that's what we want to use, and we can leave these the way they are, and just go ahead and hit run. Once we give it a second, this will go ahead and pull in, and we'll see our currencies. So let's go ahead and jump in to the next one. Let's go to exchange rates. And again, we have this request URL right here. And so we'll see there are some parameter arguments that are, here it says, optional. So we don't have to add that, but you can see over here, they have example exchange rates, currency of BTC. So let's go ahead and actually use this one. Just like it is, we'll grab this and enter, and we'll see all the results for that. Go ahead and run that, and we'll see the currencies that BTC is paired against and the relative prices. All right, that's it for that one. Let's go to prices. So we get buy price here, and we have an example, BTC USD. And so we can go ahead and grab this one We'll drop this in here, hit run, and we'll see that there. So just to confirm how this works, let's go ahead and grab ETH, and we'll keep it on the USD. Hit run again, and we'll see that update to ETH and the current price. All right, let's go ahead and get sell and spot prices. So let's grab the BTC sell. We'll paste it into our URL path and run. And so there is our BTC current sell price. And finally, let's go ahead and grab that spot price. Hit run. And we have it just like that. And so we can change this currency right here. This is BTC. Uh, USD, we could change this to ETH at USD, hit run. And so we can run that and so forth just like that. All right, that will be it for today. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you again soon.